Hi, my name is Marilyn, and today we'll be unboxing the HP Aruba Networking AP755. If you find this video useful, please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. The 700 series is the latest range of Wi-Fi 7 capable access points from HPE Aruba Networking. These access points are capable of operating in the newly opened 6 GHz spectrum in addition to traditional 2.4 and 5 GHz. They are also cloud-managed and require a central subscription to operate. Let's get straight to the unboxing. Here you have your startup guide, safety, compliance and warranty information, an installation and configuration guide. The AP755 is a flagship Wi-Fi 7 access point and it's a bit bigger and heavier than its predecessors, weighing in at just over 2 kilograms. It includes 4x4 omnidirectional antennas across all three Wi-Fi radios as well as built-in Bluetooth 6 and ZigBee radios. There is nothing else in the box. On the front, you can see the removable sticker with your serial number and MAC addresses. On the bottom, there are four LED lights. These indicate the system status and the status for each of the three radios. On the top here, there's two USB ports which can be used to connect additional downstream IoT devices. There are also USB security screws that can be used to secure the USB cable in place after it has been installed. And on the side, there's a Kensington lock socket. On the back, you can see the bottom part of the mounting bracket which is pre-installed. This bracket is the same one used on Aruba 500 and 600 series indoor APs. The top part of the mounting bracket is a separately orderable skew. Check out our AP500 series indoor mounting brackets video for more information. Here is the reset button. You will need a pin to reach it if you ever need to use it. And here is a micro USB console port. You will need a separately orderable proprietary console cable in order to use it. Here is the power adapter socket. Please note that the power adapter is not included with the AP. If required, this will need to be ordered separately. The preferred method of powering up this AP is through two Ethernet ports that are recessed on the side, making it possible to mount the unit more flush with the ceiling. Both ports E0 and E1 are smart rate, supporting up to 10 gig data rates and PoE at the same time. You can configure these ports in a link aggregation group and connect across two separate switches to provide additional throughput and headless failover for both data and power. Please note that the AP requires Class 6 PoE for unrestricted operation. And there you have it. For more information, check out the library via our website link in the description below. If you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. See you next time!